Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Hara Sakai Tower, and it is round two of the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. But before we get into that, we would just want to give out a big shout out to Radar's Place here on YouTube thank you very much for your support and for those of you that are new and we're kind of wondering what the rules are for this tournament it is very simple each one of these cars is a coupe two-door two-seat slant back roof coupe whether it's a 32 to a 2017 they'll be racing in four car groups standard point scoring and if all cars dnf we do not restart that lap and if any cars are tied at the end of a group then we will have a southern match southern death match <laughs> sudden death match oh my goodness i know every time i want to get out the word sudden death it comes out southern death i just talk way too fast but let's get on to the driver introductions for group three. First up, we've got Sneaky Bob from Vapor Racing driving that Hyundai Tiburon Coupe. He'll be joined by Ragtag Jim from Ragtag Racing driving that Stutz Blackhawk. And look at that blower. That is a huge motor on that one. They'll be joined by Scooter Roundwell from Spirit of 64 right here in Colorado, driving that Porsche 944 Turbo. Last but not least, the Crazy Canuck from the Great White North and representing the A-Team in that Lamborghini Aventador. Avent Aventador? Aventador. And here's how they line up for lap one. You got Sneaky Bob and Ragtag on the front row, Scooter and crazy canuck on the back row here they go lap one sneaky bobs out in front hits the whole shot oh looks like crazy canuck had a little trouble in the back wow what a fast time for sneaky bob oh 5.57 is it fast enough to get on the fastest lap record time here at the rim here it comes and it is sneaky bob with the second fastest time Gets his name up on the leaderboard. Sorry, 2K. You got bumped off. Let's check out the replay here. Sneaky Bob gets out in front, hits the hole shot. Looks like Crazy Canuck has a little trouble on the backside. Trying to cut off Ragtag Jim. Ends up flipping around. And look at Scooter. Scooter Roundwheel just slips right in front of Ragtag. Right there over the helipad turn. Wow, that was some great driving. And here they come. Crazy Canuck in second, Scooter in third, and Ragtag in fourth. Wow. All right. Crazy Canuck moves up to the front row to join Sneaky Bob, and Ragtag Jim moves to the back row with Scooter Roundwell for lap two, group three, and they are off. Look at it. Here goes Crazy Canuck out in front. Oh, Sneaky Bob gets snuck into second. Sneaky Bob challenging the Canuck, and Crazy Canuck from the 18 able to hold him off to take first and crazy canuck with a sub six second time nice i am digging that check out the replay here crazy canuck gets the whole shot and scooter trying to fight for second but look at sneaky bob just shove scooter roundwell out of the way scooter roundwell able to stay in front of ragtag jim and this is how they will end up finishing lap two here are your point standings after two laps, and it looks like Crazy Canuck and Sneaky Bob pulling away with it, both tied for eight points. Scooter Roundwell now on the front row with Crazy Canuck. Let's see what goes on in lap three. Here they go, Scooter Roundwell out in front, followed by Ragtag. Ragtag tries to challenge, look at him. Bumper to bumper all the way down. Wow. All four cars wanted to win that one. Wait, just waiting for somebody to have a slightest little slip up. Ooh, gotta check out this replay. Scooter's out in front followed by Ragtag 
and it looks like Scooter bumps Kickapoo, ends up spinning on the backside, and I don't know how he was able to stay in front of Ragtag Jim, but he was. It's like he slammed on the brakes and everybody caught up, went bumper to bumper all the way down to the finish. Wow, Ragtag holds off for second, Crazy Canuck in third, and Sneaky Bob in fourth. Wow, look at the... Hey, this could go any any which direction. I'm not going to take a guess. Look how close those scores are as we start the fourth and final lap of group three. Here we go. Ragtag Jim out in front. Ragtag hits the whole shot. Oh, Sneaky Bob rolls in the helipad. Sneaky Bob, he rolls his car over. Ragtag Jim in first. Scooter Roundwell in second. Crazy Canuck in third. I have no idea how the point standing is going to end up after that. Let's look at the replay and kind of see what happens here. Ragtag Jim hits the whole shot. Sneaky Bob looks like he tries to cut off Scooter. Scooter just hits the brakes, and Sneaky Bob ends up hitting that safety fence and rolling over. Whoa, that boulder falling off of the side. It almost takes out the crazy Canuck. Look how close that was. We're going we're gonna to have to make sure we get that off for the next race, okay? Um, and then look at that. Everyone is just pounding. Sneaky Bob all the way down the middle stretch where he comes to a stop in the Kaiju's lair. Let's see the final points. And Scooter Roundwell with Sneaky Bob DNFing in that fourth round will be moving forward along with Crazy Canuck. Let's see the stats on that Lambo and Porsche as they come up here. Look at that. Each of them both won one lap but their worst finish was only third. So they are finishing each and every lap. Weights are almost identical. We'll get on to group four, but we're gonna take a quick short break. Hey everybody, if you want to support our channel, head on over to our merch store and pick up a t-shirt like this one or our pint glass. You can also click on the join button below to become a channel member for just as little as a buck. That is a pretty sweet tea, I have to say right there. Look at that. All right, we are back for group four, kicking it off with Doc from Doc Speed Shop. He is jumping in that 1990 Acura NSX. He'll be joined by the Gray Wizard from Golden Owl Racing in that Silver Bullet Audi RS5 Coupe. And don't forget, here we go, Diego Roman from Diego's Diecast in that Mustang Coupe with those white, white sidewall tires. And another Stutz Blackhawk, but this time Terrence Jr. will be at the real, real wheel from Redline Savage Inc. Here they are lined up. You got Doc and the Gray Wizard on the front row, Diego Roman and Terrence Jr. on the back row. Here we go, lap one, group four. Doc's out in front, followed by Terrence. Terrence Jr. crashes in Kickapoo, and Doc is off to the races. Takes the win, followed by the Gray Wizard in second. Man, I don't even know if Doc realized what happened behind him. We got to check out the replay. Let's see what happened to Terrence here. Doc hits the whole shot, and then Terrence just overshoots it, hits the safety barrier in Kickapoo, and ends up crashing. Oh, and the Gray Wizard, I guess we didn't get that rock out of the way. Gray Wizard plows into that rock, but I don't, I don't think it's slowed him down one bit. Wow. And it looks like Diego Roman also got around the rock. And here is Terrence Jr. Nose up in Kickapoo Pass. All right, I'm getting worried that they got they got the boulder out of the way. So we're, we're good now. So Terrence Jr. joins Doc on the front row. Gray Wizard moves to the back with Diego Roman. Here they go, lap two. All right, they're neck and neck coming down. Terrence Jr. is all fighting Doc. Doc gets up. Oh no, Doc crashes. Doc crashes giving the Gray Wizard the win. Oh my word. It was like one minute Doc was there and the next minute he is gone. What happened? Oh no. Doc crashes and falls off the retaining wall down on the lower level. I sure hope Doc 
is okay. Let's check out the replay to see what happens. Look at these cars side by side going through Kickapoo, fighting for every inch. Golden Owl bumps Doc a little bit, in which I think Doc then gets loose, hits the Kaiju Blue, and nails that light post, which sends him off the retaining wall. Wow. Oh, I got word that Doc is okay. They got him back up to the top of the start gate. That, that was pretty fast. Movie magic, right? <laughs> All right, Diego moves up front with Terrence Jr. Let's see what they do for lap three. And Terrence Jr. a little bit out front, but Diego Roman is fighting. Oh, Terrence rolls it. Terrence rolls it. There goes Diego Roman, followed by Golden Owl and Doc. Golden Owl. No, that's the team. It's Cray Wizard driving for Golden Owl. Oh, man. Look at the replay here. So you think Terrence Jr. is going to take the lead, but Diego hits that hole shot, and the Gray Wizard just flips Terrence Jr. over, and then Terrence Jr. hits gate three and comes to a stop right there under the helipad camera. Wow, that is unfortunate for this rookie driver. He is getting beat up tonight. Wow. So here they go, going for lap four. Anybody can take any of these top three drivers, Doc, the Gray Wizard, Diego Roman, any of them can take it. Let's see what happens here on the fourth and final lap. They are neck and neck. There goes, there goes Gray Wizard. Doc hits Kickapoo. Gray Wizard off to the races. Followed by Doc, Diego, and Terrence Jr. Woo! Sub six second time, but I do not think it is fast enough. No, two tenths of a second short of getting on the record board for the Gray Wizard. Let's check out the replay. Gray Wizard just floors it around the sewer vent, and Doc is right there. Doc almost loses on Kickapoo, but is able to recover. Man, what great driving by Doc. And look at here. Terrence passes Diego around the helipad. But then as they come down the middle stretch, Diego passes Terrence right back. Right here. Look at the overhead of Kaiju's lair of this pass. Man, Terrence thought he got in front of Diego and that rookie mistake cost him third place oh no because diego roman passed terrence in that last turn beats out doc by a single point to move on with the gray wizard wow let's look at the stats of this audi and this mustang look at the gray wizard two lap wins worst finish was second place and sub six Gray Wizard got it dialed in with his magic tonight. Wow. All right. So here are your winners from round two. You've got Diego Roman, the Gray Wizard, Scooter Roundwell, and the Crazy Canuck. That has been one exciting tournament tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Congratulations to the four drivers. Moving on, and next week we're going to be coming back with gr groups five and six, round three, groups five and six, so you don't want to miss out, so be sure to click that bell notification button below so you don't miss any future content from our channel. Oh my gosh. I am Rubber Toe. It has been my pleasure to host everyone this evening. Just remember to be safe, and yes, it is Halloween night. Be smart out there. Be safe. Have lots of candy. Have a blast. Don't get into trouble. And most of all, keep your wheels on the road.